Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about a couple of things and it all revolves around pitch recognition, understanding where pitches are in the strike zone, understanding your strengths as a hitter, what are you looking to hit, understanding pitchers' strengths and where they're trying to attack you and having a game plan, and then having a common language that you can use with your coach. And if you're a coach that you can use with your hitters. So uh, one thing we've been using that I really, really like is the Tanner trackpad. So the Tanner trackpad, you have the plate here and you have seven baseballs, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're basically covering the entire strike zone here. Starting as a right-handed hitter, one's gonna be the ball in, seven's gonna be the ball away, okay? So I wanna talk to you about kind of how we utilize this and really the importance of, again, understanding what pitches you're looking for, what pitches you're swinging at, having a game plan. Okay, so the first thing, let's start off with this. As a hitter, getting a good pitch to hit, swinging at the right pitches, one of the most important things in hitting. You can have a great swing. If you're constantly swinging at bad pitches, it is really difficult to hit. There's only a few hitters that are able to get away with that. And even those hitters, if you think about back in my day, Vladimir Guerrero comes to mind. I almost said Vladimir Guerrero Jr. because I'm so used to watching him here. But Vlad Sr. was someone that could swing at a bunch of pitches outside the zone and hit him really, really well. But he also smashed balls when they were in this area, right? And so if you want to be a good hitter, you have to be able to identify pitches, you have to have a game plan, you have to understand what you're looking to hit, what you hit best. And so it's really, really important, both as a player and a coach, to, as a player, know what you're swinging at, know what you're looking at, know what you're swinging at. As a coach, being able to get on the same page with your hitters, have a common language that you can use, be able to get feedback from that hitter, so knowing what pitches they're looking for and then what pitches did they actually swing at. So again, let's talk about how we use this. So we'll use this whether it's flips or batting practice, it really doesn't matter. But first, as a hitter, when I'm swinging, right, instead of just hitting, right, just swinging just to, to swing, we're gonna pick out certain pitches that we're gonna hunt. Now that might be determined by, again, our strengths as a hitter, it might be determined by where the pitcher is going to pitch us. So let's first start off by talking about my strengths. Let's say that I hit, um, I hit the ball best middle in. Okay. Well, then I'm looking for pitches two, three, and four. All right. So these are the pitches that I'm looking for. So let's say we have a round and we say, hey, we're going to hunt our pitch here. All right. We're two zero. We're looking for the pitch that we drive best. And so I'm only gonna hit pitches two, three, and four. And so I verbalize that to the coach. I get up there and I hit. Now, after I hit, it's very easy for the coach, when he's throwing to me, to see exactly what pitch that was, right? And so what I'll do as a coach is we'll have the game plan, let's say two, three, four, I'm watching to make sure that we're swinging at two, three, four, and that we're not swinging at seven, right? And we're gonna talk about it every time the hitter swings. So here comes the pitch, hitter gets ready to hit, bang, he hits the ball, right? And I'm gonna say, where was that pitch, okay? And the hitter's gonna say, well, that was a three, right? So it's making the hitter aware of exactly what pitch they're swinging at, it makes it very easy to communicate back and forth with the coach. And then it allows the coach to see, was that pitch actually where the hitter thought it was? Right? And that's an interesting part. A lot of times what I've noticed that is that hitters will hit pitches and not really understand where they are in the strike zone. And so now you can see, if, you, if, the, if the hitter says, oh, that was a three, but it was actually a six, that's a problem, right? And so it allows the hitter to, to fine tune the strike zone, understand where those pitches are at, understand what pitches to look for. So this is a great way to work on all of that, right? The other way we'll do it is we'll also work on 
uh, the pitcher's game plan. So let's say that the pitcher, let's say that they were facing a, a lefty pitcher that loves to live away to righties, right? They never come in. Everything fades away. They work the outside part of the plate. And we say, okay, against this guy, we've got to be looking more at the four, five, six ball. Like that's the area that we're looking to drive. Okay. And we do the same thing. So whether it's batting practice flips, it doesn't matter. We're going to throw the ball. We're going to hunt four, five, and six. We're going to take one, two, and three. All right, and the hitter's going to hit, and they're going to verbalize where the ball was. So if they swing, right, here comes the pitch. They swing, whack, they hit the ball. Where was that? That was a five, right? I can see. Okay, yeah, absolutely. That was a five. That's a great pitch to swing at. Or they swing at a one. No, that's not what we're looking for. Or they take a pitch, right? So here comes the pitch. They take it. Bang, they take it. Okay, where was that? That was a one, or that was a two, or that was a three, or that was a six. You know, I should have swung at that ball. That was a six. I was looking there. I didn't swing at it, right? So instead of having to say, uh, that was inside, or that was outside, right? We can get really, really specific. And that's, that's one of my favorite things to use the trackpad for. Um, I think the hitters have really, really enjoyed using it. I know as a coach, it's a great tool for me. And I think having, again, that common language where we can quickly go and identify where the pitch is at. And then we can take that to the game, right? So we practice in here, right? We go out to a game where we, we don't have the Tanner trackpad, obviously. But we can say in that game, okay, fellas, we're facing that lefty that we're looking four, five, and six, right? And so now, instantly, we know what that means. And in a game, you can come back to the dugout. So let's say I have an at-bat, right? So I have an at-bat, and I end up swinging, and I, I, you know, I, I, I foul a ball off. Right? Let's say I pop a ball up, right? And I come back, and that ball was a seven, right? And let's say that we were looking for two, three, and four. I can come back to the bench and very quickly, as a coach, I can say, where was that pitch? What was it? And they can say, oh, that was a seven coach, right? Or that was a four coach, right? And so we can easily communicate. I know where the pitch was to that hitter. We have the game plan already. We can make adjustments during the game. We have different pitchers coming in. And we can quickly switch from a four, five, six to a two, three, four. Or maybe, you know, we're just looking for a four and a three. You know, there's all combinations that you can use depending on what the pitcher is, how he attacks hitters, and again, on the strength of the, and the weakness of the hitter. But um, I love the idea of having that common language that you can use, and it can be really, really quick. So giving the hitter the ability to really understand what they're looking for, what they're swinging at, giving the coach a chance to see, does this hitter actually know what he's looking for and swinging at, right? And then being able to communicate both in practice and in the game, I don't think there's a better tool out there to use. So hopefully that helps you out and makes sense. Make sure you have a game plan as a hitter. Make sure that you're working on your game plan. Don't just wait for the game to have the game plan, right? I know it's called a game plan, but you've got to practice the game plan in practice. If you just wait to the game, well, it becomes much more difficult. So there's a time in practice to work on your swing and there's a time to do drills, but there's also a time that has to be zoned in on pitch recognition, understanding what you're looking for, what you're hunting, and what you're swinging at. And that's what this is great at doing. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.